Hi, and welcome to this episode of Hey Miss Betas, what do we get to read now? I've got a great book, but before I introduce that book, I want to ask a couple of questions. Girls, what if you came to me and you said, Hey Miss Betas, I've got it all figured out. I'm going to go to college, I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to change the world. And I said to you, Oh, sweetie, that's awesome, but yeah, you know, you can't do that because it's illegal for you to go to school. Honey, girls don't learn. We don't educate ourselves. Your place is in the home with the kids and cooking and cleaning. How would that make you feel? Yeah, I get it. And guys, don't laugh and point the finger. Question for you. What if you were the world's leading scientist and your colleagues brought our friend here to you and said, what is this? We found him. He's crawling. This is the coolest thing ever. Can you explain this? And your answer to your colleagues seriously was, of course, I can tell you how this creature was made. The sun turns small droplets of dew into eggs. Those eggs then hatch into our little friend here. Okay, really for real, 1600s. And y'all, we had some great minds of that time, great scientists, don't want to take anything away from them, but it was in the 1600s. They didn't have the tools and the observations and the scientists that we have today. This book, The Girl Who Drew Butterflies, is the book that we're going to be reading, and it's the true story about how Maria Marion's art changed the scientific world as we know it. She grew up in the 1600s, a 13-year-old girl who who kind of took an interest in the insects when she started bringing in the plants and flowers for her father to paint for a living. Um, and she decided that she wasn't going to buy into the fact that these beautiful creatures came from the dirt or sun. So she began to study the eggs that were on the bottom of the leaves and she watched and she observed and she drew and she documented and painted everything that she saw until we finally have what we know today is the life cycle of a butterfly. Lots of insects. What's cool about this book? Lots of things. I'm super excited. The photography in this book is phenomenal. The pictures are great. And you know what? None of you saying I already know about the life cycle of a butterfly, Miss Betis. There's more to learn, trust me. I also love the fact that they've included a lot of her original drawings and paintings from her observations. And girls, she traveled to South America. The big thing about that is she traveled unattended with no male accompany. That was a no-no back then. She did it and she began to observe other things outside of just the insect world. She was the first person to accurately observe and document the life cycle of a frog. So this book, y'all, is about a 13-year-old girl who opened and just was a trailblazer in the area of science. She was 13 and refused to take no for an answer and instead set the world on fire. So much so that today's scientists have kind of tagged her the first woman of entomology, which is the study of insects. So I'm super excited about this biographical informational text. So buckle up and get ready to learn. See you soon.